guys, welcome back to my kitchen. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you a simple recipe for spaghetti and white clam sauce. Now, traditionally, you're supposed to use linguine, which is a flat type spaghetti, but I'm a little weird and I don't like linguine. Uh, it's not a taste thing, it's a textural mouthfeel thing. I just don't groove on linguine, so I use spaghetti. So if you don't have a problem with linguine, <laughs> use it, it's traditional in the dish. Uh, we're also gonna be using fresh uh, clams as well as canned clams. And the fresh clams, it's more or less for the visual, like the presentation. Don't get me wrong, fresh clams are always great, but I feel like for some reason, the canned clams just are more tender and they just add a little bit more flavor. But it is nice to have a little bit of both, not only for the visual, but for the different, you'll see the difference in a fresh clam and the canned clam. Um, but either way, it's gonna be really delicious. We are also gonna be using a lot of fresh garlic, some olive oil, some lemon juice, and some dried parsley while we're cooking, but fresh parsley to garnish. So, enough talking. Let's get cooking. So I'll start by washing my clams. Here I have a dozen cherry stone clams. And you can see these are really fresh. They're still alive. A good way to tell is this guy's open. If you give them a little squeeze, they close. So here's another one that's open. Squeeze and it closes. I'll just place them in this bowl and then I'll fill it with some water. And I have actually a potato scrubber like this. It's a uh, tough bristles. And I'm just gonna scrub the outer shell really well just to get any uh, dirt or sand or even little broken bits of shell off. You don't want any of that in your pasta. I mean, look at all of this. Ugh. So we'll just dump that down the drain, rinse out the bowl, and then I'm gonna throw the clams back in and give them a good scrub again with my hands. And there you have it, clean clams. Now we'll start on the aromatics for our clam sauce. So here I have garlic. I like to use a lot of garlic. That's the secret to good clam sauce. So I'm using eight cloves of garlic and I've uh, sliced them thinly. So now you could just put that off to the side. And here I have a few sprigs of uh, fresh parsley. I'm just gonna scrape off the leaf end. Try not to get too much of the stem and then I'm just gonna roughly chop that. You only need a handful. I mean, if you need a measurement, it's probably like two tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley. And here I have one whole fresh lemon. Cut it in half, we'll squeeze it. So one half done, now the other. Okay, so that's done. We can set that to the side. Now we'll turn our attention to the stove. Here I have a medium saucepan and I've turned the heat up to medium. And now I'm gonna add a half a cup of good quality olive oil. And to that, I'm gonna add the sliced garlic. And once it starts to sizzle, you're gonna wanna lower the temperature so you don't burn it. Now we're gonna add our dried parsley. So we'll add one tablespoon and just stir that in. Once the garlic gets a light gold color, we're then gonna add four cans of chopped clams. I recommend Bumblebee brand, but my store didn't have it, so I had to go with another brand. So just pour that in, juice and all, and the more clams, the better. And then we'll just stir that around. And to that, we're gonna add some salt and pepper to taste. So after I add the salt and pepper, I like to give it a quick taste just to see if I need to add a little bit more. It's good, so we're gonna move on. Here I have the lemon juice. Now I don't add all the lemon juice all at once. I do about half. I stir it in, and then I taste it again. Make sure to keep your heat at a low temperature. You don't want this boiling too much just yet. 
It can use a little bit more lemon juice, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Stir it in. Taste it one more time. We're good. So at the same time that I'm making my clam sauce, I've brought up a large pot of water to a boil, and now we're gonna add some salt. I know this looks crazy, but two to three times really quick around the pot is a perfect amount of salt for spaghetti. Here I'm using bucatini, which is a really thick spaghetti. I really like it. You don't have to use a thick spaghetti. And again, if you like linguine, please use linguine. So I'm using a, a pound, which would be two boxes in this case. Stir it in, make sure it doesn't stick together. And that's gonna take about seven minutes to be al dente. Again, stir it to make sure it doesn't stick. And now um, we can get back to our clam sauce. So here, my camera shut off, I don't know why, but I've added all the clams to the sauce. And now I'm gonna put a tight-fitting lid on. It's only gonna take about three minutes for these clams to start opening up. As you can see, that little guy there at the bottom left just opened. Once they open, you do wanna start removing them and just setting them to the side for a minute because you don't wanna overcook them. So I'm just gonna pull them out. So these three clams haven't opened yet. I'm gonna give them another 30 seconds. If your clams don't open, discard them. They're no good. And success, they've opened. So I'll pull those out. And now at the same time, our pasta should be uh, al dente. And we're gonna add that to our clam sauce directly from the pot of boiling water. We're gonna finish it off in the clam sauce. And I like to add about two tablespoons of butter to it. It just makes the sauce a little creamy. Now we could shut the heat off. And we are going to add our uh, cooked fresh clams back to the pasta. And then we're gonna garnish it with our fresh chopped parsley. And it's done. So now let's plate it and taste it. Okay, here it is guys, our spaghetti and white clam sauce. Let's taste. A little chopped clam, and a little pasta. Mm. Garlicky, briny, really good. Now let's try a fresh clam. Mmm. Those are really good. Such a simple recipe. Just a few ingredients and you have a terrific pasta dish. A little white wine. Yummy. Well, I hope you guys try and enjoy the recipe, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything. And as always guys, until next time, I hope